Okay. Uh, this is Bill Graham. This is uh, another new video in my series with the um, uh, liquid tissue culture starts, three inch cuttings in uh, liquid tissue culture tubes. Uh, and um, if you've seen the videos before, here are the parts you're familiar with. I've got yep. uh, not paring knife, which is going to be my scalpel, can be my scalpel, forceps. Um, my cleaning plate, my jar of alcohol, and my spray bottle of alcohol for cleaning the plate and everything. Except today, uh, I'm going to show you what I do in the field. So when I travel out to someone's place, I can bring all of this and, and the hood that you, know, that you got up here, um, which is really the best way to do it. Um, but, uh, you know, sometimes we do this fast. So I'm going to take that away, and I'm going to do this in a plastic cups. So these are sour diesel cuttings from Saturday. Today is Monday. Um, these were taken from plants being cleaned. Uh, you can see on my Facebook page the video uh, and photos of the plants being um, uh, cut and prepared. But simply what we're doing here is um, these these were all taken off a of plant. These, this stuff was never going to develop into um, flower quality. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. How to do this fast? You know, because I got people who are buying this kit now and going off to do like 600 plants in a sitting, really. And that's not that big a deal. 600 tubes. Um, some of them get disease. Some of them will just look crappy. You know, everyone talks about. Uh, you know, success in terms of um, uh, in terms of you know what percentage success you have uh, and how fast your rooting is, and you know that's cool. Uh, usually because you're in a hurry, um, and uh, you know second of all is it is you know waste of resources. But I got to tell you about the horticulture industry. You know, when you get into real horticulture, we always always used to plan on um, on failure. You know, it is just selection. Take your best stuff. If you're getting 100% rooting, you're growing everything, then you're not selecting. So I intentionally am trying to select away 10 or 15% every step of the way. Um, but that's for that reason. I keep the steps fast and cheap. And so here's this is fast and cheap. Let's get down to business. Got the cuttings. This is the chlorine water. Same stuff they've been washing in for an hour. Um, and I'm going to try and do this so my hands aren't right in the way. But this is this is genuinely what I end up doing in the field. So I take out the cutting, and I'm just going to hit it with the snip. See what I'm doing here? Oops. All on chlorine. All I want to do is take these ends off. You've seen me do this in bleach before. What's the point of the bleach? Bleach is going to keep the plate clean and everything. It's still covered in bleach. And then I drop it into my... Um, into my nutrient tube, get in there, uh, screw down the top, swish it around, and you know that is a that's you know that's a brand new start. This is minute one or minute zero right there. Uh, just because I have them, I'm going to show you what these things look like after a couple of weeks. Okay, so this is. This is the stuff, um, this is white rhino, um, same kind of plant, same kind of cutting from uh, last last Saturday. So this is a week old, but I drove it around in my car for a little while, and I'm going to take this out and give it another trim, because the bottom, I trimmed off some of the bleach material, but it got higher up than I, I thought, so you can see that that sort of died back a little bit. Um, what else do I got up here? We have... Um, P91. Uh, this is from this is from Saturday, so this is only like two days old. Notice that the liquid's clear. Um, that means that I haven't developed any contamination or anything, which is good because we don't like contamination. I guess everything I have that's older is already in um, everything I have older that's already uh, going off to rooting. They're same deal. See the bleaching on the bottom. So I'm going to 
I'm, I'm learning now to just be a little more aggressive on trimming the bottom. I was taking off like an eighth of an inch. Now I'm going to start going up almost a quarter of an inch. Same thing here. That's a piece of leaf that got uh, killed in the bleach process. But what is interesting is how much of the new growth just in the last week, this is also from uh, a week old, uh, how much of the new growth is starting to come out. And some of those leaves, I mean, they were tiny, tiny. They went through the bleach process, and most of this is brand new. Um, and while I've got the camera, I'm going to flip around real quick. Uh, I'm going to get back to these plants because they really need to get in the tubes. But you guys got to see this. Um, here is my rooting chamber. There's my famous humidifier right there. The uh, soon to be famous microcloud nebulizing fogger. And you guys are going to love this stuff. Check this out. These guys have been in here for about two and a half weeks. These are, these are tissue culture roots. I hate taking out plants because you can see, look at that broken root. But, you know, it's worth it because everyone really needs to see what the hell is going on. Um, I'm going to take care of these and develop the rest of these roots. Got a root? Yep, fuck yeah. Um, you know, they're ugly. I trimmed away a lot of foliage. This was the failure garden. Oh my god. The, this fogger um, quit after I walked out the door and I was gone for a week. So all I had was this little guy keeping this entire tray fogged and these guys still lived. And here's tissue culture. Yeah, they're ugly. You're like, oh my god, those are the ugliest clones I've ever seen and I totally agree. What's cool is when they start to grow out. Now I got roots so I can feed them. Once they start to grow out, these are going to be bushy little suckers. Everybody's going to have great new leaves. You know, don't worry about the, uh, um, the health of these clones because what we're looking at is the trunk most important thing here look at where the stem meets the soil what do you see is it a little thicker than normal yes remember these came from crappy clones so all of that is the growth from tissue culture it got made the stems really thick like that all that food all that stored carbohydrates are going into that root production and as soon as those roots come out the tops will start to take off. Yeah, not so happy with that guy. Um, these are Jiffy plugs. My next test will be in general hydroponic rooters. I'll let it know how it all goes. Um, but this is step two of tissue culture. Then a couple more weeks these guys are going to be my veg plants. So I'm going to be taking cuts from them again. All right. Microclone tissue culture. PlantTC.com uh, talk, tell your retailer to call DL Wholesale and BioFloral and get you a tissue culture starter kit. These are your new clones.